me. I'm a child of Filipino immigrants, and I am the father of young Filipino children. I've been thinking a lot about what it means to be Filipino uh, as a second generation Filipino American. I think about things like how does identity change over time from one generation to the next. I think about do our ethnic identities get watered down over time? Uh, I think about things like who gets to be American and who's a perpetual foreigner? Most of all, I think where exactly is home? Some people assign first generation to the US born children of immigrants. So then what does that make the parents? The zero generation? So let's once and for all declare that the first generation are the actual parents, the people who were born and raised in another country and were the ones that came and established a new branch of the family tree in the new country. And their kids, that's the second generation, people like me. The first generation arrives in the new country. They hang on to what's familiar, but at the same time, they're also adapting. They're acculturating. They learn to speak the official language, or they're forced to. The second generation, the American-born children, gets caught between two worlds. They might feel pressure to carry on traditions that their parents are handing down to them. They might feel compelled to abandon traditions, to say, no, that's not who we are, in order to try to fit in. Kids at school might tease them. Uh, they'll, they'll see, they'll get made fun of for foods that they bring to school. And then they'll grow up to see the same foods on some white chef's restaurant menu. Do you blend in? Do you assimilate? Or do you uphold tradition? Most often, we actually always do a little bit of both. And then I went and had kids. The third generation, my children. Is the third generation even Filipino anymore? I've witnessed the phenomenon of third generation children who end up actually riding harder for their heritage than their second generation parents did. It's kind of, it's almost as if they're trying to undo the assimilation Sometimes it goes back and forth. Sometimes it curves. We're constantly zigzagging. We're choosing who we are, while at the same time, a larger society seems to be choosing for us. And we're negotiating. We're constantly being pushed and pulled. In a way, regardless of geography, I think every generation is a first generation.